Hello again, everyone. In this session, we're going to take a look at managing certificate templates. Now, Server 2016 supports four different template versions, each one with different features and characteristics. Let's take a look at version one. Version 1 template is created when you install the Certification Authority Role Service. And the only changes that you can make to this version would be the permissions. And then you have version 2, and that is also created automatically when you install the Certification Authority Role, and you can modify a version 2 template and even make your own version 2 template. For version 3, we have some more advanced features, um, including cryptography, next generation, referred to as CNG, and version 4 also provides for newer features, including support for cryptography to graphic service providers and for key storage providers. We are going to take a look at some of these templates. We're going to click on Tools, Certificate Authority. We want to expand our Certificate Server Contoso DCCA. And we want to right click on certificate templates and select manage. And we can see here that we have a list of certificates and you can see the version of the certificates. We want to pick out or look for the user certificate because we want to look at the permission we're going to right click on user. We're clicking on properties. And to view the permissions, we want to click on the security tab. Now, you can use template security to determine which users have what level of access to templates. And you can do that by going to the properties of the particular certificate and clicking on the security tab and you can see we have the permissions full control read write and enrolled the read permission enables the user or computer to read the properties of a template when enrolling the certificate The right permission enables a user or computer to modify their template properties. Full control enables users to modify all properties of the certificate because you have full control. And that includes the security, temp the security settings for that particular template. Then you have the enroll permission. Of course, uh, if you have the enroll permission, you're also going to have the read permission. The enroll permission enables a user or computer to enroll a certificate based on a template. So here we have full control, read, write, and enroll. And by default, you see the authenticators users, they have the read permission. You don't want to remove that read permission. You want to make sure that that read permission stays there. We're going to create a new template based on this user template. We want to right click on the user template and select duplicate template. On the general tab, we want to type the display name of the template. And we're going to call this template Contoso 
user template. We have the option of changing the validity period of the template. We can also look at the request handling tab and look at the purpose. You have the option here of choosing the purpose for the template and your choices are signature and encryption, encryption and signature. Also signature and smart card logon. For our purpose, we're going to leave signature and encryption. That's the purpose that we want this particular template. Then at the bottom here of the dialog window, we have the option of making a choice about the enrollment. Do the following when the subject is enrolled and when the private key associated with the certificate is used. You can either enroll the subject without requiring any user input, and that's there by default, or you can choose prompt the user during enrollment or prompt the user during enrollment and require user input when the private key is used. To add any additional groups that require permission on the template, you would want to click the security tab. You click on add to add a particular group and then you set the permissions from the permissions that are here under the permissions for authenticated users. And you see we have auto enroll here as an added permission for the user template. So you can choose that permission for the user template. On the issuance requirements tab, let's click the issuance requirements tab, you can configure any requirements that you wish. For example, if you require CA manager approval, then you will select the CA certificate manager approval checkbox. On the extension tab, shown here, if you want to modify the template's intended purpose, for example, you can click application policies in the extensions included in this template list that you see here, and then you want to click on edit. From the options given for edit, you can make your choice. You can click on add. You can choose from any application policy. For example, I might want to click digital rights and click on OK. Let's click on OK again to close that template. Say that I want to make the template available. I want to switch to the Certificate Authority Console. So I'm in the Template Console. Let's close that. I want to be in the Certificate Authority Console. And I want to right click the certificate template node. And I want to point to new template to issue. In the enable certificate template dialog box, I want to look for the template that I created. And it was called Contosa user template. And I can see it here. Contoso user template. And I want to click on OK. So now we have created 
and configured our own user template. In our next session, we want to take a look at implementing and managing certificate deployment, validation, and revocation. This is the end of our session, and I want to thank you for listening.